What is all what's going on guys? This is me behind and we're a black hat man to them back in with another under tutorial for you guys and what I'm gonna teach you today is called new layout in horizontal mode. <sighs> so let's get into our problem. So uh, I was uh, recording a minute ago and uh, suddenly puddly and puddly uh piddly on doesn't matter. I just uh suddenly accidentally hit the f12 button and i just uh quit recording after recording nine minutes um valuable minutes of android programming so i'm uh, a little bit anxious and i don't know what to say so just um let's get into our problem i was um talking to you guys about our uh, linear layout and uh, what a uh, such a good thing what such a what good thing such uh, whatever it is and uh what a good thing it is i was telling you that uh, the moment that i accidentally uh pressed the f12 button and everything was gone so just don't care about it um blame on me shame on me um i was saying that uh if you're gonna have let's assume that you're gonna have a simple calculator with uh zero to nine buttons uh, which means you're gonna have 10 buttons and um four buttons um for major um operations like plot like adding like asterisks like uh minus like uh the other things and uh with equals it will be five and at all uh, it will be 15 buttons that you are gonna have in your uh, layout and let's say that if you're um, familiar only with relative layout uh, you're gonna have uh, a rough time okay it's gonna be very hard for you to um, create a layout with 15 buttons um, with 15 and drop in a simple button to your screen so uh, android studio comes in with linear layout which makes life uh, easier for you uh, to create a complicated and complex layout with linear layout so at first you should have a relative layout unless you only want linear uh, one linear layout in your screen okay if you're gonna have um, something that has multiple levels like a calculator okay you should be on relative layout as your root layout okay and if I come to my text mode as you can see my layout is relative layout which is match and width and height and uh, after that um, I put it on match parent that uh, pours all my screen uh, device screen after that I come in uh, come into the tag section added a linear layout for my first row as you can see whenever I click on that this first row um, is selected in blue and I have three buttons there and um, I have another linear layout after that and uh, what else yep one linear layout for my uh, first layout and another linear layout for my second excuse for my second row and um, the thing that you should um, take care of is that you should have uh, if you're gonna have another linear layout in your relative layout if you don't have any margin top or margin left or right or whatever it is if you don't have any margin at all it will be um, on top of each other at first button okay so give it at least 50 dp of um, margin at top and then you're good to go and it will get distance um, from the top of your screen and everything will be okay so then you can see your buttons in uh, a good shape the other things um, um, nothing else just that that's it um let me just a second give me a second and no just that's it i just wanted to show you um what a good thing um uh, 
linear layout in horizontal and vertical is and you can now um, play around with your properties tab and you can have a good time with properties tab like layout margin and um, wrap content the other things gravity and background and other things and stuff um anything else nope that's it let me just say let's not say C if you can change it here nope nope it's not in here doesn't matter I was just thinking, thinking about something else so that was it for today I hope you guys enjoyed watching this video and if you did please do me a favor hit that subscribe button down below it should be somewhere around here and also check out my tutorials like Ubuntu series and um, Java tutorial for beginners and um, hit that damn ass subscribe button don't forget it um, I love you uh, nothing has remained to tell you about linear layout and catch me in the next tutorial because I have some good things about linear layouts and making kinda like a calculator to show you uh, what a good thing is linear layouts so see you then